Hello folks, this is 2022 May June paper 2 2 and the question number is 3. This question is concerned with chapter kinematics as uh, shown by the figure. It says a man standing on a wall throws a small ball vertically upward with a velocity of 5.6 meter per second. So this is a person, he throws the ball like this, like this. The ball leaves his hand when it is at height of 3.1 meter above the ground. So through in the ground. As shown in figure 3.1 uh, assume that air resistance is negligible so it's easy for us show that the ball reaches a maximum height above the ground of 4.7 meters so what we need to find is the person throws the ball throws the ball like this so it might uh, go some to some height and return like this and we have to find this thing this thing this maximum height from the ground and prove that it's equal to 4.7 so for that purpose we have to consider this motion so the motion from here to here so for this part of motion we have got to uh, u is equal to 5.6 meter per second the final velocity here v is equal to v is equal to 0 a equal to negative of g that's equal to minus 9.81 meter per second square and this yes equal to what so our yes is equal to v square minus u square by twice a that's equal to 0 square minus 5.6 square divided to minus 9.81 equal to so see if it is the calculation it will give me a uh, minus 5.6 uh, uh, square divided 2 into 9.81 so this gives me this gives me 1.6 meters so this thing is equal to 1.6 meters so now the total height of the ground is which i have i can call as h total yes total should be equal to this yes this yes plus 3.1 so equal to 1.6 plus 3.1 equal to 6 617.3 plus 14. So this must meters as said by the question. Now the man does not catch the ball as it falls, so it does not catch the ball here as it falls. Calculate the time taken for the ball to fall from its max height to the ground. So we have to find this time we have to found find the time for this thing for this flight. So for this motion. We have a u equal to 0, u equal to 0 for this motion only. Uh, yes equal to from here to here it is uh, 4.7 meters which we just got 4.7 meters. And the value of a is equal to a is equal to g is equal to 9.81 meter per second square. So this gives me a uh, time is equal to so s equal to u t plus 1 by 2 a t squared equal to simply 1 by 2 a t squared because you equal to 0 so this gives me t is equal to root of twice s yes by a equal to so 2 into the value of s yes is a 4.7 and a is in 9.81 so this will be so 2 into 4.7 divided 9.81 uh, power 0 0.5 root is equal to this is equal to 0 0.98 seconds so the value should be equal to 0 0.98 seconds now the ball leaves the man's hand at time t equal to 0 of course the starting time is t equal to 0 and hits the ground at time t equal to large t so some specific time t on figure 3.2 3.2 sketch a graph to show the variation of the uh, v of the ball with time t from t equal to 0 to t equal to big t numerical values of v and t are required assume that v is positive in the upward direction so what they have said is the upward velocity is positive and downward is negative and the upward velocity was uh, was uh, 5.6 meter per second so let me take a uh, uh, idea so what i must have is Initially, the velocity should be here and it must come like this, like this, like this and here. And this velocity, this is speed or velocity should be more than this. It is because when it reaches the ground, reaches the ground, it has to has more speed than this. The speed here and here is same. So here the speed should be more. 
So in order to have a better idea, what I can do is for this motion, for this motion, for the downward motion, what I can do is, I can do is V equal to U plus AT. U is 0, so it is simply equal to AT. That's equal to A is 9.81 and time is, we just got 0 0.98, 0 0.98. So it is 0 0.98. So this gives me 9.81 into 0 0.98 is equal to 9.6 meter per second. 9.6 meter per second. So that means the speed with which it hits the ground should be 9.6. So now, if I make it 5, if I make it a 10, so this will be minus 5 and this will be minus 10, minus 10. So 5.6 should be somewhere here, somewhere here. And then 9.6 should be somewhere here. Yeah, so a straight line from here to here. Straight line from here to here will be the graph. Even if we consider the va uh, values as well with proper uh, calibration of the graph. So straight line from 5.6 to 9.6. Now, number D, state what is represented by the gradient of the graph. Of course, it represents the acceleration. It represents the acceleration and here acceleration is negative because the slope is negative. The man now throws a second ball with the same velocity and from the same height as the first ball. The mass of the second ball is greater than that of the first ball, mass more. Assume that acceleration is not negligible. Yes, assumed. For the first and second balls, compare the magnitude of the accelerations, it will be same because if there is no air resistance, the acceleration should be same. The speed with which they hit the ground, so this also should be same, should be same because if A is same, then, then uh, all other quantities will also be same. So same, same. That happens when air resistance is negligible or absent.